So here's the jig with the mini Brucey bonus plate, thanks Bruce, that I used last night to do a nocturnal test comparison with the new par DS3550RF and the DS3570RF, both of which I own. This is an impartial uh, review. And it's also to bring those of you who are thinking of getting these or have already got them a bit more information. Although they have an excellent built-in VCSEL IR illuminator, which has three power levels plus off, and is both focusable and directable. 70 here is fitted with the 30 millimeter supplied pad mounts. Here I fitted Eagle Vision Cam Infinity mounts, and there's a link to those down below for those of you interested to look at them. You can see they've got unusual, they're sort of split diagonally, and they have pairs of holes. Holes at the nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, sort of half, half one, and three o'clock position on this side. So I've attached one of these brackets here, the nine o'clock position. Here's how the Eagle Vision Cam Infinity Mounts accessory bracket attached to the left side of the mount. And to that, I added a little Brucey bonus plate that he made me a couple of years ago. This is an offset Picatinny bracket that was built to basically allow me to have a infrared torch offset from a rail back on my FX Wildcat to avoid the IR torch clamped on here, interfering with the PARD 008, I think it was. Here, last night, I've attached this Brucey bonus plate to the nine o'clock position clamp. That allowed me to attach first the white IR850 and IR940 T28 Artemis from Brynite. This is an LED torch, which is adjustable power. If I... There we go, you can see the green light, and you can see it's on. But if I then flip the dial, that's IR, and you can only see it's on with the power of the ca digital camera. And it's adjustable strength beam, and via the collar at the front, adjustable focus. You can narrow it down or widen it out. First, I recorded last night with this fella, and then I recorded with this, and this is a VCSEL IR torch from Ludicrous Lumens. This is the Night Saber Wraith. Comes with a lovely 3D printed bracket is very lightweight. So that's got a Picatinny clamp and a finger adjustable clamp here for the ball socket. So that allows you to direct the beam. This clamp here is adjustable and it's a quick QD Picatinny clamp that I think I bought from customhunting.uk. I'll put the link to that down below and the link to Ludicrous Lumens. Thanks for your help guys with these. And yes, yeah, so first I used the LED torch on white here at home to align the beam and then at IR850 and 940 out on the barn last night. That was attached here. It may be not that practical for a rifle attachment, but the idea was I could adjust the power, select the beam type, adjust the beam focus, all while keeping my fingers away from the controls. But I've just attached the Ludicrous Lemons Wraith to a razor block on the other Eagle Vision bracket. Now, I wouldn't have it here on the rifle, because it's quite close to the focus throw lever here. But if you imagine this bracket not being here and this fella being attached here on the rear mount, then its controls power-wise are quite close to the rear controls of the PAR DS35, which is, which is where you want them. Okay, so that's an explanation of how I had the setup running last night. I did find one hiccup, which was I synced both scopes time-wise. I synced the recording at the start, but then once or twice, because it was pitch dark, I accidentally clicked the top turret, and I think that stopped the recording. So that was uh, one discovery last night. I did love the wider angle view, as you'll see, of the DS3550RF for 12 foot pound short range use, out to 40 meters, over the DS3570RF. But let's let's get onto the footage and we'll see what you think. So there's the crevice I've just been shooting rats in. We're at base mag on both scopes. Hence, you can see the top, bottom, left, right ends of the stadia. Uh, let's zoom on both. Up. So that's 11.2 mag and 8 mag, respectively, on the 70 and the 50. You can see how much narrower, the more restricted the view is on the 70. And let's just zoom back out. Pop a bit of uh, laser range finding on with the 50. 37 meters and 
yep, you can see that the holdovers more or less cock on. And the ballistic calculator holdover aim point didn't appear in the pit window. Let's just repeat that exercise with a 70. Faintly see the IR flashing of the pit of the LRS. Aim point. And yeah, the aim point doesn't does not appear in the pit window. Pop the DS thirty five seventies IR put up to level two first. Right, brighter. Both cup scope still cup fine though. Brighter still, makes no difference. And then back to off. And uh, the fifties IR is on. So take X IR up to two. Up to three. Oh, and there's a rat. There's another rat there in that crevice. I can finish this filming quickly and then get quite a few more shots if there's more rats around. So, both scopes are on base mag. You can see the ends of the stadia. Let's look around to the right. And there's a dead rat about there. this recording to shoot some of these rats I'm afraid. That's the reason I have permission for this uh, property after all. Give me a minute, I'm just going to power, power down both scopes. Okay, recording again oh, the DS35s, both scopes zoomed out. I'm currently using the onboard VCSEL IR of the DS3550, level 1. Let's pop that off, pop on the LED IR. Initially here, the T28 was actually on 940 nanometers, which as many, many of you will know, is about 25% less efficient with digital night vision gear, although it's almost completely covert. So any prey looking towards you wouldn't see a faint red glow from the lens of the IR torch. My initial alignment here wasn't perfect, but you can also see that partly because of the longer focal length, narrower field of view, the image wasn't as bright on the DS3570 RF. But I flipped it across to 850 nanometers, which is more efficient with IR, and then I turned the power up via the rotary dial at the back of the torch. Much better. That's actually pretty good through both. So that's, I hadn't turned the torch up fully. So that's 850 nanometers LED IR from the Brynite T28 Artemis torch. Both scopes can see that very clearly at 37 meters and what I'll do now is I'll quickly unclamp the T28 and pop it onto uh, the Ludicrous Lumens Night Saber Wraith VCS ELIR on okay back in a sec so this is 940 nanometers so just refocus the 50 refocus the 70 you can see it much narrower beam than the LED was. Let's try. Alright. And there you can see the pixels. Flare it out. And that's as wide as it gets. But this torch has much greater range. Turn it up a bit. Okay. That's all the way up. So it's both scopes looking at the 940 nanometer VCSEL IR. Look at 37 meters. If there are any rats there, they will not see a telltale glow from the IR torch. So you can see on the left that the Vixel IR torch, its beam doesn't quite 
fill the field of view of the DS3550, whereas on the right, it definitely fills the narrower field of view of the DS3570RF. But this torch is definitely intended for longer range use. Just zoom both in. So if a big rat appeared right now, it would fill the whole of that crack. But you can see, I think, that this range, the DS3550, is a better scope for this shorter non FAC gun ranges. On the subject of these VCSEL IR torches, by the way, I now have a new torch, the Wraith Light, spelled L I T E, from Andy at Ludicrous Lumens to review, along with a couple of new VCSEL pills, i.e., bulbs if you like diodes for these this torch these are definitely longer range ir sources so i'll be testing these with my pad ds3570 rf brilliant can't wait thanks again everyone for watching and uh, my apologies have been a little delay but i've now got a backlog of videos to uh, get edited and uh, published they'll be online asap with this being the 2nd of April, as of yesterday, tickets were on sale, there's a link down below in the description, for the British Shooting Show 2024. So that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 16th, 17th and 18th of February 2024. I'm looking forward to seeing lots of you there and seeing loads of new gear as well. So, can't wait.